Uh, where are you right now, Cody? Uh, we back in New York. Uh, feels good to visit my baby. Uh, we just signed up to get our marriage license. Now we out here in Brooklyn Heights at the Promenade. It's nice and quiet. Nice people out here. I'm chilling. You see the nice skyline. You know, that's Manhattan over there. That's Manhattan, right? Yep. <laughs> you know, it take a minute for me to <laughs> get you <laughs> to remember everything. I've been here about four or five times now, but you know, it's nice out here. It feels good. Nice weather. In a good place. That's good. So, what are we about to get into today? Uh, uh, your guess is as good as mine. I'm following your lead. I think we're about to go to uh, what, Akil, Akil Nikisha's house, right? Yep. I guess we're going to hang out with them for a little while. See where the night leads. Yep, yep, yep. Alright. What's your, what's your take on the Occupy Wall Street protest thus far? Oh, at Occupy Wall Street? Uh, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I came out here. I want to go down there and check it out for myself and see it with my own eyes. You know, I, I think that uh, this is some revolutionary stuff going on. You know, I think you got a lot of people, old and young, um, banding together. Uh, I think it's more about feeling more. So, like, now is the time to come together. You know, I actually think that people are ready for a new leader and that's why they're banding together and that's why you got the same thing happening all across America. You know, this is a institutional protest. It's not an ideal, it's not an ideological protest. That's why um, no one's making any demands as far as what they want. This is a rally about shit ain't right. And when you say things aren't right, um, it's not one or two central things. It's a lot of shit that's been going on for a long time, you know, and all of this shit is coming to a head now. So the only thing that you can do now is go out there and make your stand, you know. Um, so, but I, I think, I, I think you do need a leader just because if you look back at history, um, there's always been somebody at the forefront. Um, but I understand. I heard I heard some protesters um, talking the other day, and they were saying that the reason why you don't have a leader, the reason why they don't have a leader, is because also if you look back at history, um, the powers that be step in, take out the leader, and dismantle the whole um, you know the revolution. You know, it's like they say: you cut off the head, and the body falls. Um, this is a different kind of situation here. I think the people have gotten smarter, and so they're like, okay, um, we're not going to have a leader, so your point of attack has, is nullified now. You know, you can't stop it now. You can only just watch it grow and see what happens. So, uh, we're in very special times right now, and I, um, I want to be a part of it. Um, I'm not sure how that, you know, how, <laughs> how yet, but, you know, that's one of my goals, to go down there and all right. Well, let me ask you this. Um, do you feel any sort of a conflict of interest going to try and be a part of it when you do have so much invested in the stock market and you follow it so closely and you're very you're very into Wall Street? Right, right. Um, yeah, there's definitely, what, that would be like a self-conflict of interest or something? I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have, I feel like I have one foot inside the institution and uh, one foot outside, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm in a weird place and I don't, I guess I'm walking that path alone. I don't think I'm the only one out there, though. Um, I'm middle-aged right now. I'm in my 30s. You know, and I kind of don't know who to side with. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out everything myself. Some of the things that I'm hearing and seeing, I identify with. Other things, I don't necessarily because I just don't have the information or don't, you know, know what the deal is with that. But um, I'm definitely walking down the middle. Like, there are certain things... 
that I identify with institutionally with Wall Street just because um, growing up um, and now that I'm older um, fussing, making a fuss and, and, and causing disruption hasn't gotten me as far as I would like to go you know and so I'm kind of my thing is I'm open to anything right now I've been on both I've, I've been on both sides you know and I still have a lot to learn on both sides so the, for me and that's another reason why I, personally I feel like this is a special time because it helps me figure some things out for myself you know um, yeah uh, <laughs> you gotta that's an excellent question. It's not something that I can just answer right off the top, but it's like one of those, that's a dialogue type that you got to ask me more so I can... Yeah. Well, my theory, do you think that having one foot in the institutions of Wall Street and also identifying with the occupiers, do you think that kind of lends you a fresh perspective on things in some kind of way? I wouldn't necessarily call it a fresh perspective. I would say... A different, I guess, I look at it as I have a bigger perspective, um, just because I'm more open, my ears are more open, I'm not closed off to what the suits are saying, and I'm not, I'm not closed off to what the protesters are saying, you know, I got them both in my ear, and on both sides, I'm like, well, yeah, I agree with that. You know, I disagree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. I disagree with that. That's from both sides. You know, there is no such thing as a true middle ground. But um, this is a time of change, and I think both sides need to be heard, and both sides need to be open enough to start a dialogue. I feel like that's what the people want, and I also feel like the institutions, though, they don't. They're not ready to sit down and, and talk to anybody. You know, their mind is already made up, and they just want to put this whole thing in a category that's been dealt with before. They want to handle, try to handle it uh, through the protocol that they didn't already set up, and that's not going to work this time. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing your insights with us, and we look forward to more. Definitely. We got about five more, six more days out here, so hopefully we get a lot of good stuff going. Okay.